up you guys, John here for Obese to Beast, and in this video I want to talk about something that I've talked about before, but it's something that I always want to bring up just to bring awareness to it and just to let people know, you know, what's going on and what people are dealing with. So today obviously I want to talk about loose skin. So if you don't want to hear about loose skin, if you don't want to see loose skin, please click off this video right now. If it's something that bothers you, I don't want you to have to watch it, and if, you know, just click off the video if you don't want to see any loose skin, okay? so. Now I want to talk about, first off, I just kind of wanted to do a physique update, show you guys what I'm looking like right now, because as you guys do know, I am currently bulking right now, so I've actually gained about like 10 pounds from my lowest weight, so I kind of want to let you guys see what the loose skin is looking like now, and how it's kind of maybe changed over time from maybe my, my viral video, just to see, because when my viral video came out, that was actually the pretty much the leanest that I've ever been. Um, so just kind of see what ha what bulking up and putting on, you know, hopefully muscle, but fat as well, a little bit of fat as well, um, has done for the loose skin. So I want to show you guys that right now. So as you guys can see, like for me, people always ask all the time, is, is, is has bulking really helped you a lot um, as far as loose skin? Is it helping making it go away? Is it helping, is it, you know, is it getting better? Is it getting worse? For me, I think it's hard for me to really see it because it's a day-to-day -day thing. Um, people will tell me that it looks like it's looking better. Personally, I think it looks pretty much the same. And for me, I mean, that's totally okay. I. I personally believe, and this is gonna answer a lot of questions um, from the Instagram Q&A that I did. So if you don't know yet, I did an Instagram Q&A. That's where a lot of the questions that I'm gonna be talking about today are gonna be coming from. But this is gonna answer a lot of those questions. I personally don't believe that there's really much that you can do just normally that's really gonna help that much. And I'm not saying that to scare anyone, I'm just saying that to be brutally honest and just to be, just to let you guys know, like you, cause I don't want people, the reason I'm saying is cause I don't want people wasting their money on products and things that they they think are gonna be miracle pills wraps whatever it is that's gonna fix their loose skin fix the problem so the, I don't I personally don't believe that any amount of you know bulking and cutting is really gonna help that much like I think it can help a little bit but I don't think it's ever gonna make it so I don't have loose skin ever again uh, so I just kind of want to throw that out there so with that being said and talking about all that let me start answering some questions from the Instagram Q&A that I did I did if you're not following me on Instagram go ahead and do that and I'll be able to answer hopefully some of your questions uh, so the first question that I got a lot of is people are asking um, do you have any loose skin on your face or is it possible to get loose skin on your face and that's actually a good question because a lot of people this is definitely something that nobody I don't, I don't think I've ever seen on YouTube or anything like that but it is possible and I do have some um, so I'm gonna do this I'm not doing this for shock value I'm not doing this to try and scare people I'm just being honest with you guys so I do I, I feel like I do have some loose skin on my on my neck and on my face, uh, or maybe it's just me, but I think I do. So if I do this, like, obviously you can see that there is, that's probably more than, yeah, I'm probably gonna have red marks now, but that's probably more than a normal person would have. Um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me being like ridiculous, but I think you can get loose skin on your face, and I think I do have a little bit of loose skin on my face. So that was a question that a lot of people asked. Barry gets fit asked he said do you think you if you started lifting weights earlier would you have loose skin now I do believe I do wish and I do believe that if I would have started lifting earlier if I would have started lifting heavy weights earlier uh, just started building muscle in general earlier in my journey then yes I feel like I would have a little bit less loose skin but with all that even with that, I feel like I would still have a good amount of loose skin because uh, I, I, this is something I want to bring up as well. For me, I feel like, and just from what I've seen, I, I mean, I've talked to so many people that have loose skin, right? Uh, I feel like loose skin at the least, like this is at the least, is 50% genetics. And I mean, I personally believe it's probably more, but at the very least, I think it's 50% genetics. So your genetics play a huge role. There are some people that can be my same exact weight size or whatever lost the same exact amount of weight right 170 pounds in the same amount of time and will have way more loose skin than i have right now 
There's also other people that can lose, you know, be in the same situation, but lose or have a lot less loose skin than I have now. So I think genetics is huge and it's something that people seem to over, tend to overlook because we want to feel like we can control every single thing that happens. But truth is, there's, there's just some things that you cannot control and I feel like loose skin is it's not something that you can't control. Obviously, if you don't gain the weight, you won't have loose skin. <laughs> but it's not it's not something that you can control all the way, you know? There's there's some things that you just can't control with it. Alan Posey asked, and this is gonna be a, uh, an answer for a lot of questions. He, he asked, what's the most annoying thing about having loose skin? Um, for me, personally, it's the physical limitations that I have. So this is gonna answer a bunch of, a bunch of questions of people asking, you know, does it hurt, a lot, yada, 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 those kind of questions. Uh, for me, the most, Annoying thing. I don't want to say annoying, but the, the thing that bothers me the most about it is I can't really do like exercises where I'm sprinting um, Or if I'm like have to do a lot of jumping because there I mean there's a good amount of loose skin there So when you jump it's gonna move up and then move down and the force when it comes down it, it does kind of hurt um, And I can only imagine if you had a lot more loose skin is that that could cause some sort of you know back pain and stuff like that uh, But personally, I don't have any I don't have any like back pain from my skin uh, But that's probably the most annoying thing is I wish that it didn't it, it wouldn't hinder me physically at all it doesn't do too much and the reason the reason that I, that I'm okay with the skin that I have is because I always I always bring it back to where I was before uh, running didn't happen now I can run it just it hurts if I go long distances and then jumping didn't happen so I can still do those things it just hurts a little bit and it, it kind of hinders me from really wanting to do it all the time like you definitely won't see me running and doing marathons or doing a bunch of jumping and, and all that kind of stuff because it just after a while it starts to hurt uh, so I usually just kind of avoid those things but life is definitely a lot better now because before I couldn't run at all even if I tried to that would oh I couldn't even imagine probably I would hurt myself really bad <laughs> so I, I couldn't have even ran before and obviously jumping would have just never happened but that's definitely the most annoying thing for me personally is is just the limitations that it might bring on me just slightly they're nothing too crazy but it does it is something that I wish didn't happen Axel underscore VI he asked uh, were you expecting loose skin at the beginning of your journey is it something that you knew was gonna happen no and that's why I am so adamant about talking about it a lot if you if that bothers you I'm sorry but I talk about it all the time it's it's why I like bringing it up so much it's because I didn't know and I know there's a lot of people that didn't know either so I want people to understand that this is something that happens it's okay you're not weird there's nothing wrong with you it's just part of the journey that you're gonna go on uh, so that's why I kind of talk about it a lot but yeah I did not know even in the slightest that it was something that could, could possibly happen. Laidlaw underscore Jamie. This is an interesting question. One that's really good though. She asked, um, how do children react to loose skin? And then in parentheses, they can be ruthless. That is true. They can be ruthless. Um, honestly, I haven't had any super negative experiences about it. This is funny though. I was at church on Sunday and I was sitting down and this girl, little girl came up to me and she was like, you know, just like playing with me like, uh, and then she like felt my stomach and then she stopped and she was like, she stopped and she was like, "Your, your, st why is your stomach big?" <laughs> and I was like, "I don't know." And she was like, "Oh yeah." And she had fruit snacks in her hand, right? She's like, "Well, if you eat too many fruit snacks, your stomach will get really big." <laughs> I thought that was really funny, but that that just recently happened. But honestly, like my niece uh, Faith, you guys have seen her in so many videos. Uh, she'll like. She she likes to do this. She's so weird, such a weird baby. She likes to do this thing where she like will lift up your shirt and get, I think it's called a raspberry when she like blow on like go, you know on your on your skin. Um, and she does it to me and it's never bothered her. She actually like, grabs it. I mean, but I mean I I know that there's definitely you could definitely like if you're out on the beach or something or at the pool and like a kid sees you and is freaked out. That could definitely happen. That hasn't happened to me personally, but I can. I mean, maybe it has. I just didn't notice it. But yeah, kids can definitely be ruthless. But that's with anything that's different in their eyes. Icky underscore fitness asks. This is a very good question as well. Do you worry about infections and skin tears very much? Uh, I haven't really had any issues with like infections or anything like that. Like I feel like my skin isn't to the point where it's so overlapping and so like overbearing on my body that there's portions that that are gonna get infected. And I mean, I'm pretty adamant with cleaning my body and making sure that I'm clean all the time. Um, and then skin tears, I don't even know what that really is. I, I'm assuming that means like the skin's like folded over and maybe it's uh, like cracking because it's not getting any moisture. I haven't had any of that. Uh, I mean, there, there will be times where like maybe under my chest and something, it might be a little bit red, but I've never had it to a point where it feels like it's like itchy and it feels like it hurts. It feels like something's wrong with it. I haven't dealt with any of that yet. MB92 Fitness, this is a good question. Would you talk about loose skin 
the, like, when would you talk about the loose skin issue? He said third, fourth, the fifth date. He was just trying to, to ask. Personally, I, it's hard for me to answer that question. Uh, because, I mean, if I'm just being honest, I know that if I ever go, I mean, luckily I have a very beautiful girlfriend, but if I ever, for some reason, was on a date with a girl that I've never been on a date with, I know that we've probably been talking, I've never gone on like a blind date, so most likely we've been talking, we've probably been on each other's social medias, and it's pretty prominent online. My loose skin, my journey, um, it's, it's a pretty prominent thing, and it's something that I talk about a lot. So I, I've never had to deal with the fact of telling somebody that I was interested in, you know, physically or sexually or whatever, uh, about it, because it's something that I've already Already, it's, it's out there so much already that I haven't had to worry about that at all. Uh, but that is a good question. I'm sorry, I can't give you a better answer. K Curtain 90 asked, um, how do you manage finding clothes uh, to fit slim to show off your amazing progress while also battling blue skin, preventing some of the slim slim clothing? So that's a good question. Basically what he's asking is, how do you find clothes that you feel like show your body off but don't show off your loose skin? And that's something that I struggle with to this day because if, if clothes are too tight in the chest, my, my loose skin right here will show. And then obviously if, it's too, if it tapers down way too much, it'll show. So. The, the best advice I could give you is maybe um, finding things that are tapered, but maybe going up in a size than you would normally. Like if I normally wear a large, um, wear, get a, a shirt that's very tapered and nice fitting, but then get an XL so it's not as tight everywhere, but it still does taper down so you get that look that you're looking for. And then for pants, I mean, I haven't really struggled with anything like that. Pants are pretty, you know, pretty, if you're fine with any sort of pants that you get, you should be fine with that. So that's my biggest tip that I can give you on those ones. Okay, last question. This is a very good one. Chasley underscore Gonzalez asks, I probably said that wrong. Are you self-conscious about your loose skin? I'm so afraid of it happening because I can't afford surgery. I want to lose weight so bad, I just don't want my husband to be grossed out. For me, being self-conscious about my loose skin, I mean, it was definitely, before the before the viral video that I made uh, came out, I was a lot more self-conscious about it. Um, but now, since that video came out, it's been so prominent in my life, and everyone that I've met pretty much knows that I have it. Uh, so it's made it a lot easier just being honest with it up front with people. And, and I haven't had anyone come up to me, like, in person, obviously you get the trolls on the internet and stuff, people saying that you're disgusting and stuff, but I haven't had anyone come up to me in person and been like you're disgusting and that's nasty and I don't ever want to see that again I've never had that um, and then if it's someone that you love if it's your husband I I can guarantee you and I'm not trying to judge your relationship but if it's if you guys are in love and you guys got married and and you decided to lose weight and he didn't love you anymore or was affected negatively by your loose skin he shouldn't be your husband <laughs> like I'm not trying to be negative but if he does love you, and I'm assuming he does, he won't have a problem with it. I am very blessed to have someone that I'm not even married to or engaged to that is very, um, you know, comforting about it. I mean, not comforting, but she she understands it. She's not bothered by it. It's totally okay. Um, and I feel like the more you talk about it, the more the more open you are. If, if if they're like if they're not afraid, like if Jesse Jesse isn't afraid to ask me a question about my skin because I don't get upset by it. You know, if if, if there's that open. Uh, door policy, I guess you could call it. If, if there's not a someone, if they're not afraid to ask you a question about your loose skin and you will answer it honestly, that helps a lot as well. But yeah, you shouldn't be worried about your what your husband thinks because if, if if it's your husband, I'm assuming that he loves you till the end. And if he loves you till the end, it won't be a problem. It'll just be another thing that you guys are. Uh, I don't even want to say deal with, but it is something that you guys will be dealing with, and it's okay. That's totally fine. Um, but. So, uh, as far as being self-conscious about it, uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just be honest with your partner and, and let them know, you know, this is something that I'm doing. This is something that could happen because I'm losing weight. I just want to let you know, and I hope you're that, that you're okay with it. So that's going to be the video today, guys. I really hope that it helps you guys out. Seriously, I really hope that it helps you guys out because I know that there are so many people that have questions about loose skin, so I, I'm, I'm doing my best to answer as many as I can. I really appreciate all of the questions that you guys left me on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, Twitter, anything, you should follow me on Twitter because I don't have that many followers. It's going to be down in the description. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the, the questions, the comments, the feedback. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best group of people that I could have in my life. So I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There's one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up my fire.